Welcome to the True Locks Breeding Tower Showcase. If you would like to see this breeding tower in action, you can download the World Save on Nexus mods. The name of the World Save file is Shuheim Sandcastles Season 1. Alright, let's go. The first step to using this locks breeding tower is to find and tame two locks. The process of taming locks will not be covered in this video. The focus of this video will be on the use of this tower. As you approach the tower, you will want to slow down. Take your time as you climb the spiral staircase. Do not run. Unless of course you enjoy repairing damage to your builds at awkward angles and dangerous heights. Once you reach the top of the tower, it may look like you will get clotheslined off your trusty mount, but have no fear. Once inside, make a quick left, drop down, and you'll be just fine. The breeding pen, on the other hand, will take damage. So whip out your trusty hammer and start repairing the damaged beams. It is recommended that you move the locks to the other side of the pen to reach the lower beams. It will be difficult to repair these beams with both locks in the pen. Be sure to move the locks to the side of the pen opposite the scaffolding before retrieving the other locks. This will allow you to reach a scaffolding that leads up to the top of the tower. If you have used BuildShare to place this tower in your world, it is recommended that you add a portal to the top and bottom of the tower. Simply repeat the process for the second locks to get her up the stairs. Locks are known for having wide cub bearing hips, so take it slow. Here you will see that I use one locks as a stepping stone to get the other in place in an attempt to reduce the damage. I do not think this works and see no benefit for doing it this way, but it was worth a try. Try to keep track of which beams take damage. This will save you time by not attempting to repair every beam in sight. Once all the beams are repaired, you may need to guide the first locks to the left side of the pen facing the entrance. Then move the other locks as far to the left as you can. You will need to make room to get out of the breeding pen via the scaffolding. Once you have exited the breeding pen, turn around and destroy the two wood stair pieces. You will not need them. Head back up the scaffolding and destroy the four wood stair pieces and the two wood floor pieces. This build was designed and tested to work with flax, which can be stored in the chest built into the stone wall. Now it's time for my favorite part. There is something oh so satisfying about feeding locks with flax in this setup. Just sit back and enjoy the flax roll. The V build for this locks breeding tower is available on Nexus mods. The name of that file is Trueheim Locks Breeding Tower. A special shout out to Slipslop TV who did all the hard work in figuring out the technical aspects of AFK Locks Breeding. Be sure to check out his video, AFK Locks Farm for Unlimited Production and Hearth and Home. I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun with the tower while this AFK method lasts. Until next time. Take it easy.